Beyond Truth is a voluntary community organisation that's been set up by five guys, um, T, Derek, Wilson, Chris and Alfie. And these five guys are people that we've, uh, we at Beyond Recovery have worked with. Uh, it's a subsidiary of Beyond Recovery, so we are supporting the guys, but it's their organisation and they're going to tell you more about it themselves. Um, uh, our, our guys presented at the Three Principles Conference recently and um, after that um, we've been working together for, for quite some time having groups and, and all sorts of things together but after the conference the guys realised that they really really wanted to, to get going with something and and help support their, their communities, their different communities. So they've all got amazing ideas and um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. When you find that, that quiet space in your mind and it, and it connects you straight to your heart and, and no matter what situation or what, <clears throat> what you're looking at, it always looks, looks escapable or it always looks beautiful as opposed to how it would have looked from when you're looking at it and giving it too much thought. So the reason I started, my motivation for starting an organization to do, to help the community was centered around the Black Lives Matter and how I, how I viewed racism and how I viewed my, start, my stand in the community before that was totally different until I let my mind settle and become totally free of anything. And I could only see one thing, I could only see love. Where before I might have been angry and seen anger and been hurt, I wanted to, to make other people feel hurt. I didn't see that at all. I just saw love and compassion. And it, for me, it falls on both sides because I know that I need to show that, shine that love and compassion to everybody. And as a simple saying says, you can only be the change that you want to see in others. And from I said that, I've been kind of been held to account with it. So I have to, I, I have to stick to what I know. And it's not hard because I know that how I got there in the first place was I settled my mind and the answers were revealed to me or what, what I should do was revealed to me. So if I, and that's a good space to be in. So if I know I continue doing that, then I will serve some good in the community. And I will reach all, all members of the community because in that same space, I realise that we're all one. My name's Alfie, for those who don't know me. Um, why I wanted to do this was because of before. So obviously I found Beyond Recovery in prison and I've been in and out of prison all my life. From the age of 13, I've been on drugs. So 14 onwards class a drugs as well and i always ever only knew that there was my truth my belief that's all i ever knew and and when i come across this understanding and, and i had an insight into to separate realities i was like ah oh, so there's other people's truths as well and and that that, that was massive for me. I was like, ah, oh, so not everybody sees it like me. And that explains a lot, of, a lot of my thinking that I used to have when I would not fit in and not, not feel good enough. And is there something wrong with me? And then, and then I had a deeper insight into the truth, truth, that what, what Derek was talking about, that, that, that oneness of, of life, the, the bigger source behind it, driving force, whatever you want to call it. For me, I'm happy to call it God. But that, that for me is, is the driving force for me because of everybody can tap in. Like we was designed that way. We was designed in that pure pure innocence of love we we was already that and when we talk about love well what me personally anyway i can only speak for me what i've seen through my insights is 
But when I speak about love, I don't mean, oh, that's just a word I'm trying to explain it with, but I don't mean personal love that I have for my mum or for my, for my wife or for my kids. I, I mean that true, that, that true essence of life. 